morning. I am outside in the snow today and I thought something really good we could do today is go for a walk and use our senses to see all the different things the snow does to the outside. So you'll have to excuse the video a little bit. I'm going to be swapping backwards and forwards so you can see me and you can also see all the different things we can see in snow. So the first thing I thought we'd use is our eyes. So we're going to see how snow lands on different things. So if we look at the floor, I've got a torch, so if you're out in the dark like me, you can use a torch too. If we look at the floor, we can have a look for footprints. Now, if you're out with a grown-up, your grown-up might make big footprints on the floor and you might make little footprints. If you've got any animals in your house, they might make really different footprints. So the first thing you need to be today is a footprint detective. So have a look. As I say, you can use a torch like me. You can have a look and you can follow and see where the footprints go. Now, the next thing we can do is have a look at what happens outside to all the plants in the snow because they get covered up by it. So we're going to see if we can find some plants that are under the snow. So the first ones I'm looking at is all the crunchy leaves. If I put my torch down, you can see the leaves are covered in snow. Can you see them covered in snow? They feel really wet and bendy. Why don't you see if you can find a leaf that's covered in snow and see if yours are wet? And bendy. Okay, let's go and have a look at the trees next. Now, the trees have just got little bits of snow going up them. Can you see with it? Now, if you've got a stick or a paintbrush, it's really good fun to try and get the bits of snow off the tree and find the bark again. Now, I'm going to go down our little pathway outside. Ooh! I've just found some more bits on the floor first to show you. You can see all the little dots, all the little specks on the floor. This is where the snow has fallen off from up the tree. Can we see up the tree? There we go. It's fallen off from up the tree and melted on the floor. So it's like raindrops on the snow. So if you find any little spots, you might find raindrops on the snow too. So we're going to go down the little alleyway next. Okay, now I've got the holly berries. Can you see the holly bush? The holly bush has got lots of snow sitting on its leaves. And so has the hedge got lots of snow. It's quite fun going for a walk in the dark. Because it gets dark about half past four, you might do your snow walk in the dark as well. Or it might be a frost walk by then. So, we're going to go down the alleyway now. Can you see all the way? You see the hedge? You can see down our alleyway and we're going to see what else we can find. I'm going to be looking up at the bushes and the trees and down at the floor to see if I can see any tracks. <gasps> There's a track here. I think that one might be a pussycat one. We do have a pussycat that comes through here sometimes. You'll have to look and see if you can find any pussycat tracks in yours. Okay, so this is one of the ones we were looking at yesterday with the frost, which we really enjoyed. And this is a fir bush, and you can see on it that the snow sits really thickly. And if you give it a wiggle, ooh, the snow starts to fall off. You can have a look to see if you can make any of the plants wiggle and the snow fall off. Oh, now you know this one down here. This is one we call elephant ears. And this has got really big leaves and you can see it's caught the snow. You put the torch there. It's caught the snow like a dinner plate. Can you see how much snow is on these leaves? You could even put a circle on a big leaf like this or the letter. I'm going to do a curly K for your name. Can you find any snow with leaves so big that you can draw a circle in them? Or write the letter of your name. Let's keep going down the alleyway. Oh, past more fur bits. Let's 
see what I can see next. Oh, I've got some more snow on the grass. I can't see any more animal footprints though. We're keeping looking at all the snow. Now the children know this bit of the garden really well because they're often running along here. Oh, I found more footprints. Let's see if you can see them. Can any of you see the cat footprints? I've got one, two, three, four. Glad I found four, otherwise the cat might have been hopping. Okay, I'm out the other end of the alleyway now, so it's all white again. Now, if you've got a big white path like this, it is really fun to run up and down and make as many footprints as you can. So you could do really big walks or jumps or little tiptoes. I'm gonna do really big walks. You watching my feet ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then if you look back along it, let me see if I can show you. Along the footprints, you can see if you can walk back in your own footprints. So nobody will know. You've been walking both ways. It's like stealth walking. Can you walk in your own footprints? Mm. The other thing while you're outside and it's a little bit dark and it's snowy is using your ears, okay? Have a listen. Can you hear any birds singing? There was one, did you hear that too? Sometimes you might hear a car driving past and as it's bin day today, you might hear the binman as well. Sometimes it's worth standing really still and seeing what we can hear outside. Now I've got a hat on and a coat on to keep me warm, but I haven't got my gloves on yet because another thing you can do on the snow walk is you can feel the snow. So I've got a nice smooth bit of snow here. Now, if you get cold fingers, the best thing to do is to get a stick or a paintbrush or even a pen with a lid on and you can do some snow mark making. Snow is really good for mark making in. You can make wiggles, you can make faces. It's like having a big piece of paper outside. Yeah. Also, you can feel the snow with your feet, because normally when we stand on the grass, our feet just sink in. But now they're gonna sound really, really crunchy. I had a little girl yesterday who came in and told me how she'd seen Jack Frost everywhere, and it had turned the fences from brown to white, and when she stood on the ground, it was crunchy. So see if you can find a really good crunchy bit today. So see if over the weekend or today you can go on a frosty snow walk or just a frost walk and see what things have changed outside. What you can see, what you can hear and what you can feel. Have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.